Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCG video. Today, guys, we're looking at a pretty wacky concept. This is going to be Mew 3 Mad Party. Now, you're probably asking yourself, how would that ever work? That doesn't make any sense, but it actually does. When you play Porygon Z here with that attack, critical error, search your deck for up to 10 cards and discard them. The idea of this deck is we're going to go Porygon Z, dump a bunch of Mad Partiers, and then in one turn, Mewtwo. And then just like that, Mad Parties is doing upwards of like 240 damage on the turn one. And that's the idea of the deck. Um, Mewtwo and Mew copies Porygon Z. Uh, yeah, I'm playing stuff like Capture G to pull that off. I also got Island Challenge Amulet, so Mewtwo doesn't give up three prizes. Of course, you do that. Your opponent can easily gen just go knock out Mewtwo a couple times. But Island Challenge Amulet is really good because it also lets you protect your Dedenne instead of playing Giovanni's Exile. That's what we're trying to do here. This deck idea is very wacky. Not sure in how well it will really work, but it'll be pretty hilarious to play nonetheless and see if we can get any turn one Porygon Z's off. So yeah, before we get the video, guys, course, shout out to the sponsor, Karkheim and TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDCGO pack codes, get them over at Karkheim, guys. Karkheim is selling PDCGO codes online for the cheapest. If you guys are looking for any set code like Vivid Voltage, Rebel Clash, Thorn Shield, Unbroken Bonds, Team Up, any set code, get them over at Karkheim, or if you guys are looking for a specific promo code and maybe you guys want to get that Dedenne Trainer Toolkit, or you guys want to pick up that ADP Zation Battle Arena code, or any other Pokemon TCGO code, get them over at Karkheim. If you do get any codes at Karkheim, at the checkout, guys, you can use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your order at the checkout. Help the channel, help yourself out, and help out Karkheim, too. So shout out to Karkheim, guys. Check them out. Make sure you use code LDF if you get any codes over there. Um, now let's look at the list here. Again, very spicy deck. A very wacky idea. Mewtwo and Mew Tag Team GX. Being able to copy random attacks to make decks work is just something that, like, it's just really cool. And one of them is going to be Porygon Z. Uh, we don't play any other Pokemon for Mewtwo to copy, by the way. We don't... It's not a Mewtwo deck. Like, and there's literally nothing else I can think of to play in here, like, other than maybe, like, a Reshizard just to allow you to do Double Blaze. Literally other... Or Outrage, sorry. Other than that, there's really nothing else I can think of. Um, Porygon Z is just here just for that attack. And same with Mewtwo. We just use Mewtwo once... After that, put it on the bench, try to get an amulet on it so it doesn't give up three prizes, and then just do a lot of damage with Mad Party. This deck only really works if you get this turn one um, attack off. You don't get the turn one attack off. It's not as effective. But you always want to just try to get that turn one off. And we do have cards like Guzmahala, Cherish Ball to help us get there, Tag Call to find our tank team supporters. Capture G can be really good too. Capture G does allow you to attack uh, with Mewtwo and copy Porygon. And sometimes you can even just use... Um, abnormal overheating which is kind of bad though it burns yourself which is kind of pointless but that's like the only other attack you can copy um but again we're just trying to put pokemon in the discard pile ideally we just go for mr rhyme for dedenne and like two pulte guys or a couple bono bees and we set up a perfect condition where we're just doing like 200 plus damage with my party super quickly it's really cool um again it's a bit of a niche idea but it's gonna be fun to try out just for the lulls uh, um yeah it's a pretty straightforward map party list everything's kind of similar um, I'm not playing any rank gurus or any um or any Mews because we're just trying to devote it to the Mewtwo. We have to commit a lot of cards actually pulling off this Mewtwo combo. So unfortunately, the one issue with this deck is there isn't any room for anything else super effective in here. Um, so unfortunately, I just couldn't find room for any like Mews or rank gurus. But I mean, if you play so aggressive, it might not even matter, and that's what we got to hope for with this deck. Pretty straightforward. Let's get the four research, three to Dene, and the nice thing about Dene and Am Amulet is very the Amulet for the Mewtwo. You can actually use Amulet with Dene, so it actually helps you a little bit. Most decks don't play Tool Scrapper right now. Like, sometimes ADP will play a Scrapper, but no deck really plays Scrapper. So Amulet will always be active on your Mewtwo, which is really good. But it's pretty straightforward map party list. Even playing the Guzma Holly Tech Call Engine can be beneficial because it allows you to actually find your energy to attack with map party. So there is some built-in synergy here with this engine we already have to find our Mewtwo and Porygon and Guzma Holly to pull it off. I am playing a Malana. This is maybe a cuttable card. Um, it's just here to move Mewtwo. After you do Porygon, you do have to switch Mewtwo. Um, we do play two switch but also the Malana to maybe get that Mewtwo out of the active spot. Um, yeah, that's about it for the list. Uh, everything is kind of similar to what you see in a normal Mad Party deck. Um, it's a crazy idea, but if we ever pull off this Porygon Z combo and get a win with it, I'm going to be very happy. I'm excited to see how this is actually going to work. Um, it's going to be interesting for sure. All right, guys, here we go. Getting into a game with the Mad Party deck. We've actually won the coin flip here, and it looks like I'm just going to let me go first. And, ooh, we would have had the turn one Porygon. That's unfortunate. I mean, this hand's fine, though. We can just capture G for, like, a Sinesti or something. We'll see what we're playing against. Ooh, Rillaboom. Okay, we're definitely going to get Sinesti here, I think. If they're playing Rillaboom. We don't have to worry about getting... Yeah, we don't think I'm worried about getting knocked out. Unless they're playing the Mewtwo Rillaboom deck. But even then, they can't attack me turn one. 
I'm just gonna go here. We could island challenge amulet now. We could just do the actually we could just do Dene now. Just Dede change now. You could just hold the hand. We could just put the amulet on. And then just do the combo next turn. Just hold the hand. Hope they don't hit me with the Hit me with the Marty, I guess. I don't know. We'll see if we can beat Egg Row, though. Uh, them going second is kind of annoying because they get the turn one Rillaboom in play, which isn't very good. There's a Quick Ball. We'll see what they get here. They get a Crobat. They could actually play Power Plant, but it's too late to put that in play, I guess. So it doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Okay, we'll see what they do. So... We could try to set up 280 damage on the egg route right away. I don't think it's worth it. I think it's just going to be a two-shot game on this thing. We can put a ton of things in. Yeah, I think we two-shot the egg route. All right. Yeah, they got the real boom play, which is kind of annoying, but it's all good. We still have a gas hand. Um, Parish Ball for Dedene. We get the Porygon with the Pokecom, and it is in the deck. So we do have the Porygon in there. We are able... To do our crazy play. We actually could just Guzmala here instead of doing Dedene. Which is tempting. Then we can just discard 10 cards. I think this is actually fine. As long as they don't play, um, what's his face? You know, Power Plant. I think it's actually not a bad play. We can get another Capture NG. Um, take Air Balloon, I guess. I don't know. Sure. Yeah, this is fine. We'll capture G. Put a bunny in play. Here we go. Critical error. Turn one. We go two, two. All three. We can put one Poltegeist, one Bunnel B. It's not a whole lot of damage, though. We have no other mad parties in there. We actually prized a few mad partiers, which is kind of annoying. I have to do a Poltegeist again. We can get rid of the last Mewtwo. And... Mm. I'm thinking... I'm thinking a Tag Call, too. No, we'll keep the Tag Call. Might just get rid of... I actually don't know. I think we could just get rid of these 10 cards and just call it a day. Let's get rid of these 10 cards. Yeah, Rising... The, the Dene's and the Rhyme kind of sucks. Because we weren't able to get as many in the discard. We actually are only doing 100. We're doing 160 here. Maybe we should have put more in the discard. But we don't have enough mad partiers to do that. Because we need to make sure we still have attackers to work with. So that kind of sucks. Okay, they're playing Snorlax VMAX of all cards. Interesting. We'll see if they knock out my Mewtwo here with uh, Rillaboom. We do have that Anjan Jimmy on. So they can knock me out with Tropical Hour GX. Which it looks like they are going to do. I think we just bring in the Bunnelby here. Yeah, I think we bring in the Bunnelby. Then we air balloon the Pultigeist. You just bring in Bunnelby and just Mad Party and swing. Not much I can do. We just, we prize too many Mad Partiers for us to really hit too hard. Which is a little annoying, not going to lie. Want to get the Amulet on the Dedene so we can't get... Get the amulet on the Dedene. We could actually just bring in the Pulte guys because we have more energy outs. Okay, we'll promote it. Put the air balloon on it. So we draw another Sinesti. Cool. All right, with the Dene. See what we get here. Okay, we got the twin. We got another bunny. We got to swing with the bunny, I guess. How much damage are we doing? So we're doing 160 damage right now. We could do 180. 160, they heal 30, they'll go down 130 HP, but then they knock me out, and then we're doing even more damage. I think that's actually fine. I think we're just gonna swing with Bunny. And go from there. Probably, honestly, we probably should have researched, though, to be honest, just to try to get the amulet on the Dedene. But they can't one-shot my Dedene with the Egg Rouse right now, so it doesn't really matter. They could one-shot with Snorlax. And they do play by padding. Okay, that's kind of bad. They have a lot of HP. We can still, I think, two-shot them. It's not too bad. If we can knock out this Eggrow here, I think we're going to win the game. Like, but then we just got to knock out the Snorlax. They could play Maulana, though, which they probably do. It makes sense. Okay, they do knock me out. How much damage or HP do they have left? 140. All right, perfect. So we can take him down with the Bunnelby. All right, cool. Okay, call. Do I have to play it? 
You can Goose Mahala away the Malon and the Switch. Or Island Challenge Amulet. I kind of like that. Let's get the Amulet on the Dedene so it can't get KO'd. We can get another Energy too since we're not playing a Supporter. Get a Twin Energy, I guess, because... Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Get that on there, and Mad Party! Hopefully we get the three other Mad Parties at the prizes here. That would be amazing. Come on. There we go. There's one. That's not Mad Party here. That's, uh, there we go. We got the homies. We got the squad. Oh, my alarm's going off my phone. I got an alarm because I was taking a nap. Uh, because I'm playing an attorney. No, they play the rude, dude. No. <laughs> well, okay, to be fair, we can actually just go boss boss. Never mind. We cannot go boss boss. That's a really bad Marnie, too, because they're putting those Denny's at the bottom of the deck. That's a little annoying. What do we get here? Okay. We do have another bunny. I mean, how do we deal with that Zarude? I guess, like, they're going to run out of energy, though. Like, they've already played six. They have six in play. Eight. They played eight energy. So maybe they don't have enough energy. This thing is so bad, though. Oh, the Zarude, bro. Not like this. I kind of like that. So like VMAX Zarude. Yeah, I might have to make a video on that. I kind of like that idea. Hmm. So we have two Pulte guys left. We don't want to get rid of the Bunnel Bee. I mean, they played two Switch, though. They, like, they're down quite a bit of energy, and they've played two Switch. There's a decent chance they don't go into Jungle Rising. But we could just Dedenne into a boss KO. Like, we can just go boss boss on two things. Like, that could very well be our win condition here. We can try to go for it, I think. Playing Dedenne, though. Oh, but then if they if they find boss, they just win. Oh, that Marnie completely disrupted me, then. We did get the boss. All right, we do have that play. We could actually just boss knock out the Zarude. Wait, do we do enough damage? I don't think we are. We're only doing 200 damage. Never mind. Well, we could do 220. But it doesn't matter. If they ever just get a boss, they win the game. We can't win anyways. I think we have to just... I think we have to just hit the Snorlax with the bunny. Right? Hit the Snorlax with the bunny. Hope they don't boss me. They bench lock themselves. But they haven't played a boss yet. Which is the scary thing. So we can either hit with bunny. Hope they don't heal with jungle rising. Or we can hit with Bunny. Hope they don't boss win the game. It just comes down to whether or not they heal the Snormax. But it has four energy. They can just hard retreat it. Uh, I think I think we've lost. Like, I don't... We can't even get another... Well, I guess we have a Dedenne prize. But we can't get another Dedenne off the prize. I think we just got a boss. But if we boss... They, but I guess they might not even have a bench spot. Like a Pokemon left to use to draw cards. I feel like they've used all the draw Pokemon. So we can just boss a Crobat. Maybe get Dedenne off the prizes and then try to Dedenne into our last boss. We still have Tea Break to work with. I think that's fine. Right, let's see. I mean, this is all banking on the fact that they, yeah, we have our last boss too. This is all banking on the fact that they don't have a boss in their hand. That's why I'm skeptical of knocking something out. But I feel like they do just have the Zarud play here. Like, I just feel like they have it. Like, they definitely have an energy in their hand. Right? And they could, like, I just don't think we can hit the Snorlax. I think we have to go boss, boss. Hope they don't boss me. That's like my only th way I can think. I just don't want to. That Zarude is just too good. We could knock out the Zarude, I guess, which, I mean, that kind of. I guess, okay. We're not doing enough damage. No, we got rid of a Dedenne. We can knock out Zarude. I guess we just knock out the Zarude and then KO one of the Dedennes and Bats to finish the game off. And we just hope they don't have boss in hand. I can't do anything about this. We couldn't get an any time jamming on another Dedenne. We had to play the Dedenne because we got Marnie into a bad hand. There's the Dedenne. So we have the ability to go to Denny next turn as long as we don't get... If we don't lose here, we have the ability to win the game next turn. Ooh, dude, they don't have another draw card. They have another draw card? We tried. We tried. No, they didn't get it. I spoke too soon. All right, let's go. We might actually win this. And before they play Great Catcher. I'm not even going to be surprised if they do at this point. There's the boss. But we didn't get the energy. But we have the Denny. All right, we have game. I think we're guaranteed to win. Whew. That was close. I didn't expect to actually win there. I genuinely just thought they would find the boss there. But I guess they met only played two. So maybe we got lucky. We just need energy to win this game now. Yeah, we have Dedenne. Three energy in the deck. Good. Have it. 
There we go. Yeah, I think we're guaranteed to win. As long as we don't whip... If we whip... The, if somehow we whip an energy, which I don't think we will. Yeah, we can. We don't. We all... Okay, yeah, we had T-Break to work with, too. GG's to my opponent. There we go. Mewtwo Mad Party versus Snorlax is a rude... Actually, a really unique deck idea. I would probably play Rare Candy, though, because I feel like having to give up those three pies with Egg Grow is kind of annoying. Um, I like the idea, though. You know what? I rate the deck. The idea of using Zarude with a tanky Pokemon like Snormax, that's really creative. You know what? I like this guy's deck. I'm going to export it because that was a really cool deck. I might I might cover it. Shout out to my opponent. Okay, here we go, guys. Into the match. We'll go for heads here on the coin flip. We do win it. Go let my opponent go first. Try to get into that turn one Mewtwo if we can, which we might pull off. If we can draw a Pokemon here, we can go into the Porygon Z and then we just need an energy. Kiki Pack? What could they be playing? They're playing a tag team, right? Grass Energy. Are they playing Rillaboom VMAX? Are they playing Butterfree VMAX? What, what, what grass Pokemon could they be playing? I don't know. They get Gormandai Snorlax. Yeah, I don't know what they're playing here, and we'll see. No, they're playing Amazing Rares? We have no Mew. Oh, no. We don't have Mew in the deck. Oh, my gosh. We're going to get bodied. We got the perfect setup, though, but... We're going to get slapped. But we can go for the Mewtwo. Quick ball away the Porygon. I mean, we have the Nuts. We have the Amulet, the Switch. Like, this is... We had a pretty... Much, honestly, a perfect hand. But... You might get slapped by the deck. We got the capture. That's good. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get another Sinesti. Here we go. Critical error. Get rid of the Mad Partiers. Luckily, in this matchup, we don't need to dump that many. Uh, we can get rid of a couple. We can just do this and get rid of their Mewtwo. What else? Yeah, we don't need to get rid of many. many like, what are the chances they're not playing an Amazing Rare deck? They're clearly playing Amazing Rare, so I don't think we need to go too ham on the discards here, thankfully. Um. I think that's all I discarded. I think we priced a triple, right? Yeah, okay. I think that's all we discard, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm... Seems fine to me. Seems fine to me. Right, turn one critical error, dump the squad in the discard pile, and we're chilling. We got the amulet on. Uh, we just need to find a switch, and we're chilling. We could build up to the to the uh, Porygon, though. I don't know, though. I... It's, this might be tough. Not having Mew kind of hurts here. I, maybe we should play a Mew in the deck, but like, I don't know what I would cut though. Yo, they're going for that body slam one time, bro. Oof. Let the Gourmet dies. All right, nice. What do we top deck? Bunnelby, we'll bench that. We can attach the active and then try to go for that Porygon knockout. We only have one switch in the deck. Okay, we can play this. See if, do we even have the switch? We do. I don't think we're going to hit it, though. I honestly think we just power up the Mewtwo. Yeah, I'm going to power up the Mewtwo. It's not going to get knocked out, right? I guess they can paralyze me, but no, no, they, they can't. They can't. We're chilling, we're chilling. Oh, we can't dead eight change. Um, tea break. Sure. I do want to try to get into some more stuff here if I can. Uh, that's just more bunnies. Okay, we can afford one more tea break. I can't get rid of any more bunnies, though. I don't want to run out of attackers here. Okay. I guess pass. Where's our... Do we have a boss in the discard? We don't. Okay, so I wouldn't mind finding a boss if we can. We don't have any mad partiers left to discard with Pulthy, guys. So I don't know. I don't want to get rid of all my attackers. There's the Raikou. The Raikou's pretty scary. We. I really want to boss this thing and knock it out. Okay, they're going to Marty me. That is fine. If we can get the capture energy and the boss's order, that'd be pretty good. We didn't, we, okay, we got the, we didn't get the boss, though. We got the switch. Ooh, there are aura. Discard a lightning. This Pokemon does 50 damage for each one. Interesting. They do have two energy in there, right? Yep, okay. So, what do we do here? We can knock out the Snorlax with Mewtwo. We just top deck a boss one time. No. Well, we can't attack with Bunnelby. We can attack with Pulthy Geist, I guess. But then they can knock out two Mad Partiers at once if they go Raikou next turn. I think we just... I think we gotta attack with Mewtwo. We're also kind of in top deck mode right now, which isn't really good. Okay. 
Here we go. Mewtwo attack the Snorlax. I don't know if we're going to win this, though. This is going to be a close one. But these Raikus, as long as they don't get too many in play, we can probably win. We'll see. There's... Okay, there's... Good. That's research. All right, cool. See, they have the metal. They're not actually two metals. So there's like a, a slim chance they don't have a metal energy here. The very... Ah, uh, nah, spoke too soon. They could... Mm, crushing Claw is kind of annoying. Ooh, they scoop up Ned. That's kind of bad. They can set up another guy. But they don't have an Oranguru. So, like, how lucky will Trumby really be? You know what I mean? Trumby... Probably gonna go for another Raikou. Oh, a th okay. Zero over Raikou any day of the week. I will take that. The first attack is kind of annoying, though. Not gonna lie, but it's fine. We can either knock them out or switch. I don't know. They do get to knock out a Mad Partier of their choice. Unless they have a boss here, they can knock out two Mad Partiers. They might knock out the Sinesti. Um, no, they actually had the boss. No, dude, what the heck is that? They actually had the boss's order? No, bro. Oh, shoot. We have one Poltegeist and two Bunnies, and we still have Mewtwo. We still have all of our attackers, technically. Okay, I'm gonna go Guzma Hollow. I'm gonna attack with Bunny. I don't wanna go Mewtwo because I can get knocked out by Zero Aura. Why don't we draw that? Alright, cool. Um, good research. I think we have to. Okay. We can get the other Poltegeist. I don't think we need to. I think we just knock him out with Mad Party. As long as they don't establish another Raikou, I should be chilling. The first attack of Zero Aura, though, is kind of annoying, but it's fine. Quick Ball. It, yeah, we just gotta hope for no more Raikus. Net. I say that and they bench one. Alright, awesome. We gotta hope they also don't hit the knocks off charging trumpet. They are down a few energy. Like, it's probably hard for them to find a metal energy, too. Yeah, they only got one energy. Okay. Ooh, they got the discharge. This is why I didn't want to go Mewtwo, because I figured something like that would happen. Whoa, if they have another boss, bro. Thank God. If they had a boss there, that would have been terrible. <laughs> that would have been so bad. They do have a rod. Ooh, I can get them back the Raikou and the medals. That's what I don't like. Get some back Raikou medals. We'll see if they get a Sinchino in play, too. I mean, we're probably going to lose this. We got the Termon Porygon and all. And the Mute is even doing its work and attacking, but it's just one of those matches where we just kind of fall behind. They just snipe my bench. I don't know. I think the only way we can ever win this, honestly, is if they bench a Pokemon we can knock out. They would have to get rid of all their energy to kill me, though, which is good. I think this is a turn where I do attack with Mewtwo. Uh, we can even boss the Raikou. Oh, their first attack is really bad, though. I feel like we just lose. They can first attack and discard my energy. We're going to run out of energy, I think. I think we're just going to run out of energy here, to be honest. Pretty hard for the Raikou to attack me, though. They popped their Coco already. Might knock out the Peaky Pack, maybe? Nah, I think we just knock out the Zerora. Just hold the boss, I guess. I don't think it matters. I think we're going to lose because we're running out of energy. We can't play triple with Mewtwo. We have no switches left, right? Yep, there's no switch out. So Mewtwo will eventually get knocked out. Maybe they don't have a light energy in their hand. Okay, nice. We don't have to worry about Zerora unless they have a Trumbeak again. But they're down a lot of energy. Marnie! Oh, I didn't expect them to play that. Ooh, I did. honestly didn't see a Marnie coming. All right. Let's see what we get here. Okay, still got a twin. Going for Trumbeak. Oh, I don't like that. I really hope they don't hit me with Crushing Claw so I can attack them again. They could even... I mean, can they go for Amazing Shot? They could. They could get Amazing Shot off this turn. Okay, they failed the Trumbeak. That's what we needed. We needed them to fail that Trumbeak. I think I go Cherish Ball, Bench to Dene, and I might try to knock out the Raikou if I find boss. I don't know, actually. I don't know. How many nets is that? Do they have one net left? I do want to try and knock out this Raikou for sure. Okay, let's see we top deck here. There's the Poltegeist. Yeah. Shuffle the deck. We benched Dedenne, though. We... Well, we have an air balloon. Okay, okay. We can still move the Dedenne. We just need boss. There we go. So we can boss the Raikou here. We can also knock out the Peaky Pack, so we can't do Trumbeak. I kind of like that, too. If we take out the Trumbeak, he can't go Raikou regardless. kind of like that, not going to lie. 
It's a tough decision. Do I want to boss knock out their Raikou, or do I want to knock out the Piggy Pack? If I knock out the Piggy Pack, they can't get energy in play, and they might not even attack with the Zero Aura. You knock out, you knock out the active, they go, they go Trumbeak, and they take out two Pokemon, we just lose. I think we take out the Piggy Pack. They're going to hit me with Zero Aura, though. We still have a triple left. Okay, I think we still have enough energy to win this. Mewtwo will eventually have to get knocked out, but it can't be by Raikou. I think that might have to be our win condition. Let's see what happens. Do we stay burned? We do not. They are down five lightnings. If they don't attack me, I think I'm going to chase down the Raikou. Yeah, okay, we're going to chase down the Raikou. Unless they Marnie me again. They could stand me too. If they Marnie me, that'd be... Yeah, we have no Dedene left. Yikes. Okay, that's not a Marnie. What can they get? Oh, they could get Turbo Patch. I haven't... I don't... Do they have room for that, though? They seem to play a lot of, like, jank. I don't know if they'd actually have room for a Turbo Patch. They could get a Turbo Patch here, though. That would be pretty bad. McDonald's coffee. It's actually not that bad. Let me know. Do you guys like McDonald's coffee, or do you guys prefer other coffee outlets? Like Tim Hortons. Uh, what are they doing with this Rosa, though? Like, Turbo Patch would be bad, but they need another out to switch. They're down... Three nets. They like, haven't played a balloon yet or U turn board. Like, all we have to do is knock out the Zero or we win the game. Or knock out the Raikou, and I'm pretty sure we win. Like, we're very far ahead. Honestly, maybe they should have went Sinchino, right? He can put energy in play. They got a boss. Uh oh. So they can try to trap the Dene, but we do have that air balloon in the deck, right? Yeah, it's in there. So we have the air balloon. Tool Scrapper. Oh no, dude. That's kind of bad. Not really, though. Time to thin the deck. Yo, boss, knock out Raikou. We just thin the deck out. We can amulet the active again? I think we have to. Well, there's no way they can win, right? Well, I don't know. They could play something wonky. Play this now, I think. Yeah, we'll just play it now. I'll take the knockout. All right. Somehow Mewtwo has been carrying the team here. I mean, Oregon Mewtwo, best combo in the game, NA. So the only way they can prevent me from winning is that they go Crushing Claw, which I think, honestly, instead of building up Raikou, they probably should just want Crushing Claw, right? If they ever Crushing Claw me, I think I'd lose. So I think we win as long as we don't with the Air Balloon. But even then, I think we're still pretty far ahead. We'll see. Maybe we should have held the amulet, but I just, I don't know. I don't want Mewtwo to get knocked out. I don't want them to ever get in a position where they can discharge a Mewtwo and win the game. We just gotta hope we don't get bodied. What are they gonna boss? Yep, they did it. Okay. So we can just hard retreat then. Unless they, yeah, they have to stamp me to prevent me from winning. What are they doing? There's Chino. Make do. And that's game. Air Balloon one time. Aw. Okay, so yeah, we got him. We'll take him out with Bunnel B. And that'll be that. Uh, I think we did a good showing off the deck. We played against a pretty, two actually pretty creative decks, which I like to see over the same old boring ADP shtick. Um, so it's actually pretty cool to play against two different kind of unique decks. I kind of rate the Zeroor. It's not that bad of an idea, though. The Zeroor is kind of cool. Uh, kind of like, I like the deck. I like your deck. I like both of my opponent's decks there. Uh, but yeah, that'll be it for the video, guys, on the, on, on the Mad Party Mewtwo deck. Uh, see, I copied the guy. Look, see, I told you, bro. I might do a video on that deck. I really like that idea of Snorlax as a root. But anyways, that's not the video. Uh, yeah, that'll wrap up the video, guys, on the deck here. Overall, I think it was fine. I think the main issue really is not having enough, like, search outs. Honestly, I can definitely see this maybe having a couple changes made to it. I think a Mew and maybe an Aranguru could be going in here. Maybe even play, like, another... Um, cut I think the Mount Lana get cut. The Mount Lana seemed pretty pointless. I thought it would be useful, though, with Tag Hall. Um... I'd probably cut the Malvana. Maybe even honestly cut the Tag Call Engine out of the deck altogether. Um, but for what I worked with, you know what? The deck seemed kind of cool. The idea of going Porygon Z was kind of sick. You could even play a Roar Energy over Capture Energy and maybe try to copy other Pokemon. Like, you can then sneak in, like, a Vileplume GX or something. Um, just some spitballing ideas. Anyways, thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed today's PDCGO video on this pretty wacky Mad Party deck, make sure to slap a like on the video. Sub down below if you're new to the channel. Help me with Voter Roar 14,000 subscribers. Check out Carcavern down below. Follow me on Twitch down below if you haven't already. Also, if you guys want to pledge to my Patreon, it is $2 a month. You guys get access to exclusive content over there. I just posted a legacy video over there too, and I'm working on another video that'll be up in a couple days. So check it out if you guys want. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the video. Bye.